Hi, this is PC Roger, and I've got a new warning for you today about a threat that just showed up in my inbox this morning. And it looks pretty official, looks kind of inviting, but there are a number of warning flags. I want to show you how to identify these warning flags for yourself and not open these uh, dangerous emails. This one shows Trend Micro Titanium Internet Security. Well, that's red flag number one. I'm guessing that if you really got a message from Trend Micro about a, an, an important system update that requires immediate action, it would probably say Trend Micro Support or Trend Micro. Uh, it might say Titanium Internet Security, I don't know for sure. And you might say, hey, I don't have that software, so it's no big threat to me. Well, you still got it. It's going to come in maybe another day with uh, you know, McAfee or Norton or some other brand that maybe you do have. So I want to show you how to identify these threats, these attachments. This is how people are getting these nasty viruses, these ransomware uh, programs like CryptoLocker that encrypt your files and make you pay to decrypt them. You do not want to pay the money. The best thing you can do is to not get these problems in the first place. Do not open attachments that are suspicious or that you are, are not expecting. And we're going to show, look at a couple ways here to find out uh, that this really is something very, very bad for your system and that it's not authentic. And again, this, these are the procedures you can follow no matter who it's from. Uh, this has to be from Trend Micro, but uh, it could be from, it could be, it's going to be something different tomorrow. So you want to know how to identify these yourself. So again, Trend Micro is probably not going to do things this way, number one. They're not going to send you uh, an update. And here you can see, and what I did was I right click on the email and just hover down on view attachments and you do not want to open it but you can see it says hot fix patch and it's a zip file boy stay away from that thing do not open it and that is going to be something bad I can guarantee that now if we move farther down to message options and again this is an outlook now there are other programs where you can can save the actual email and open it in a text file uh, or in a text editor like Notepad where it's not going to you know, fire off any HTML or anything like that. But Outlook doesn't allow that. It does give us some other options. And on message options here, if we click on that, it shows uh, the, the recipient list. It will show the email address that it came to. Now, if you're like me and you have lots of email addresses to try to track these things, that can be a warning sign. Uh, in this case, this particular email address that they used would not have been something I would have signed up with uh, an antivirus company with. So if, to me, that's a warning. Now, it says it comes from Trend Micro Internet Security. Now, it may or may not be okay. That might be what they use. Look at the address, PeggyAE92CF at FusionAdCorp.com. No way is this thing authentic. It's going to say TrendMicro.com, TrendMicroSupport, something like that, .com. So this is not from Trend Micro. They would not send you a zip file. Now sometimes you'll see that paperclip when there's not actually an attachment, but there's maybe a, a, you know, an HTML signature or something on there. But in this case, as I say, by right-clicking and just hovering on View Attachments, we see that they did send a zip file. And that's very, 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 very bad. They would not do that. So the only way to protect yourself 100% uh, from like these ransomwares, you know, they, because you can get those from an infected website too, you want to have backups ahead of time. And the backups must be versioned. This is why we like online backup software, because you'll have, at least with the right, with the right companies, you'll have many versions, maybe 30 versions, maybe infinite versions of a file. So if it gets encrypted today and backed up, you can still go to your online backup from another clean computer and look at a, at a version from, say, two days ago before the infection happened and get your files back. So you need to do that ahead of time. It's not something you can do after you've been infected. But we want to, uh, want to have you do two things. One is protect your computer with good backups and version backups. Uh, again, if you back up to a USB drive and that's connected to your computer, or if it's on your network somewhere when you get some ransomware, they'll encrypt that too. This is why we like online backup as another way of backing up. We don't back up just one way uh, in our own shops. We, we have multiple uh, ways of backing up and a USB drive is fine, but disconnect it when you're done. And again, for the versions, online backup works. If you click in the description of this video, or maybe if I can get a annotation in here, you can click on that. Go to my website, pcroger.com. Try to have a few more resources for you on this. You can see other videos uh, on my channel that are like this. Maybe I can get those into a playlist or something. Know how to identify these threats. Do not open them. Avoid them. In this case of Outlook, 
you, you can just highlight that email, hold down on the shift key, click the X, and it will, and if you do that, I'm sure you want to permanently delete. This is going to bypass the recycle or trash. It's going to just permanently delete. That's what you want to do. And get rid of it. You don't want it on your system. So that's it for this video. Again, click the link in the description or the annotation. Get some more information. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.